Hey there YouTube, Super Brandy K here, and well, what have I done? I have torn apart my master control board, and it's time for some new projects. Here's the old button panel from a, what is it, a Cox receiver box, and all the silly little linear regulators these all came from a single TV right? believe it or not what are these three zero five zero C's there's two of them and then there's a three zero nine zero which is a nine volt and then this guy here is a PNP transistor because I was doing some power experiments like that low ohm resistor for current reading things like that, that was kind of fun but never really worked all that well not very useful now that I've got these guys charge batteries and have regulated power supplies so it's time to get move on and start doing some actual cool things like powering up one of these guys this is I guess you can see the model number there a Dell 2224 um, power edge switch a 24 port switch um, I've got it here at least what, revision 2 I know it's upside down but you can see revision 2 there but 24 port 10 100 switch uh, work where doing some moving around our IT department is actually moving so we got rid of a bunch of stuff and well nobody has use for 100 mbit switches I mean, I've got two of them well three technically but didn't need the whole ton of them so stole the boards I'll come back to that in a second want to show you the other things we got so these are all the switches for one two three four five six seven of them so these are the little power supplies which are pretty cool and they are five volt six amps by Delta Electronics. Um, so yeah. Then see if I can grab one here. Turn it over to the light. Oh, there you go. Twenty-four ports. And then. The old controller chips, those heat sinks. Go back to the main real tech. Turn around, I guess. Real tech. RTL8326. Um, basically, I'm keeping the whole thing only for this little area over here. Power components. Um, this should be like a 3.3 volt buck converter. I believe it's synchronous. Oh uh, yeah. I mean there's two bits there. I don't know if they're MOSFETs or not. Let's see if we can find the controller there. I'll look up the data sheet, put it in the description. And that's probably a synchronous controller. So yeah. 
takes the 5 volts down to 3.3 .3, probably for these chips here and maybe or maybe not this too uh yeah oh yeah it is, does that track there goes over to here this that orange capacitor in there so yeah that's pretty cool gonna use that is well, six amps that's five times five 25 watts that's pretty hefty so yeah I got seven of those um, else? Uh, oh yeah um, there might have been a really big really expensive back in its day server my slash ah. do 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 <sighs> there you go a big whole behemoth of a server this was a 6U server so yeah um four big old CPUs I don't have the CPUs um I don't know maybe I'll go through all the specs of it and show you some pictures of some of the components because this is going to go rambling on but yeah it was a Dell Power Ridge 6800 so I'm going to get some wicked comp uh, components from that including its very beautiful buck converter modules that are slotted in back there if you can see which take the 12 volts down to 5 volts pretty awesome indeed and well of course I kept its power supplies Yep. What is that? C5? I have absolutely no clue. I forget. But yeah. It can handle 130 amps at 12 volts. I don't even have a plug in this apartment that I can plug that into. <laughs> so yeah I might be doing something with that soon maybe probably not but what I'm going to play with these little LED boards that it's got and it's got a bunch of little chips here if you can read that that's upside down Seven four H C um one six four which is come on scroll up you got to get me uh, focus focus. 8-bit serial in parallel out shift register so takes a serial data which is bits in series and turns it into bits in parallel basically so you're, you got two inputs there those are your serial inputs, and then that goes to the parallel of all your 
different bits, so you can use that to drive a bunch of LEDs. So, I guess that's a quick update from all the stuff that I got from work. And the sad, sad um, repurpose of Master Control. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next video.